welcome back to day two of the Fish & Co National Youth Championships, a key event in the region which is also the selection process for Singapore's national team. More than 350 sailors are enjoying the top level of racing here, backed by a most honoured title sponsor. Fish & Co has been very, very great and the support they've given us to hold this event, to run this event, has been immense. Uh, we won't, wouldn't have been able to hold such a fantastic regatta without the support of Fish & Co. Their interest in sports and getting their name out associated with sailing is important and, and we see it's a good uh, step forward in the sporting industry in Singapore. Fish & Co is interested in supporting the effort to develop sailing amongst young Singaporeans and is providing colourful sails for this regatta and encouraging keen youngsters to put in more training time. Uh, I like sailing because it's very tactical and I enjoy it a lot. I also enjoy it because you can make good friends and you can know lots of people around the world and from different countries. Across the three courses today, the wind was again shifty and variable, which made for some tough tactical decisions. Light wind, big shifts and rain also kept the race committees on their toes, causing a few postponements while they waited to be able to set a straight course. But on race course A, the sailors didn't have to wait too long before getting into full-on action. In the laser radial class, Ryan Lowe and Jevin Ong from Singapore dueled for first place, with Ryan having a slight advantage. In the Optimist Gold Fleet, the competition is really hard. James Coe from Singapore ruled the tricky weather with steady performances and so far has climbed to second overall with Park Sung Bin from Korea to contend with. On course C, the bite sailors squeeze into the starting line looking for the best position. It wasn't easy to find clear space with 74 participants on the same course. Noor Shazrin Mohammed had a slight edge, but with more races to come, all can change. In the double-handed 420, Kimberly Lim and Savannah Siu still have the lead after day two. But Yuki Yokoyama and Samantha Neubronner will cover them closely till the end. And the same weather pattern is forecast for tomorrow, so the coaches tell us that fast thinking, adaption skills and boat handling in all conditions will be the key to success here. Do stay tuned.